Here's an updated version of our Conway's Game of Life program using Jython and Swing. You'll remember that uh, Jython is an implementation of Python that runs under Java, so you can use any of the many rich Java libraries, including Swing, for making a graphical user interface. And um, you'll recall that the game works like this. You turn some cells on, and you run, and then the program applies the rules of the games to make new generations of the uh, of the game of the grid. And um, so you can see there's an improvement here. This used to be a grid made up of checkboxes, which looked kind of bad. So since I've replaced that with a grid made of J toggle buttons, and uh, normally they're rectangular, but I've overridden some things to. Um, make them square. Um, in making this new version of the program I wanted to keep it simple and explainable but I also wanted to do it right the way a professional programmer would do it uh, taking advantage of the features of Python that uh, that one should for this type of thing. Um, unfortunately uh, because I went that latter path it's uh, a little difficult to explain so it's not so useful anymore as a as a program for this uh, this young programmer's podcast. So take a look at it if you're interested. But some of the things that are that make it a little bit more complicated are, for example, um, there's this method here, do for all cells, and you pass it a function. Um, so many of you aren't aware that you can pass functions around to other functions in Python, which is kind of a a difficult thing if you're not if you're not familiar with it. So that's one thing that's kind of uh, complicated about it. The other is the use of these lambda functions which makes a function right in line here. You don't have to say def and the name of the function. You can actually build one right here when you when you need to use it. Um, so there are two files here still life game and grid mutator. This is the logic for changing the grid um, from one generation to the next. So I'll leave it at that and if you're still interested in this take a look at the code um, and then we'll switch to some easier things for a while.